He looks so mad. Hey, Brandon, hurry up and get back here. I'll have TWA on out his ass so damn fast he won't know what this up. Can you get quicker? Yeah, I can. Because I happen to be with the sheriff's office. Because I happen to be with the sheriff's office. All right, folks, welcome back. You ain't going to believe this video from Whistling Diesel. Subscribe to Whistling Diesel. Let him know I sent you. All right, folks, let's get right to it. I happen to be with the sheriff's office. Because I happen to be with the sheriff's office. Oh, and that fucking truck there. Doesn't need to be right here. Oh, well, we can't park Film our truck. Film all you want, dumbass. This truck doesn't need to be here. That truck and that fool out there, no wait zone. We're all just trying to have a good day here. No, no wait. We sink our boat. We sink our boat. Out there. We sink our boat. Film your cameras. Shove it up your ass, mother. Why don't you sink your boat and we'll see how you get up here then? Okay, listen. <laughs> I guarantee you, none of you fuckers are born after January 1st, he's, 1989. He's, have a goddamn permit to be out here. He's I need a permit to swim? That's no, to drive them stupid boats, you morons don't know how to ride. I don't know how to ride my fan boat. I built it myself though. Look at me. I got fucking YouTube. <laughs> you wanna be on the channel? What's your name? That's his name? That means Dude. Nothing. Your mom is awesome. Oh, look Dude, at me. Bro. I wish I named my mom that. My tell, mom named me. Tell your daddy, that. take your fucking boat and go home. You think that's his dad's boat? I'm sure it is. Dude, I paid for that with my own yeah, money when right. I was six years old, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> dude, I got a Lamborghini. Oh, I, got I got a Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Oh, my kid's bigger than yours. I have a Lamborghini. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it to the lake too. Yo, I gotta tell you guys, I think it's hilarious how this dude is trolling that off-duty cop. He's having a good time with it. He's not letting the cop ruin his day. And I gotta tell you guys, it makes for great YouTube content. That old man just put himself on blast and Whistling Diesel gets a viral video. Unbelievable, folks. I really like the way he didn't let himself get pushed around. Check out what he has to say about it. It's like a child that hasn't grown up all the way because their mom didn't spank them when they were a little kid. So after Yellow Shirt Guy was done with his mental breakdown, we just kind of went out to finish enjoying our day on the lake. We just put it behind us. And then go figure about 15 minutes later. How long y'all been out? Uh, probably about two hours. Uh, we'll do a safety inspection. Wow, so this off-duty Leo makes good on his promise. He tells him, I'll have TWRA on your ass so fast you won't know which end is up. And surely enough, before you know it, they show up with an attitude. In my opinion, they shouldn't be doing this. Using resources to harass the people. This is a misappropriation of funds, folks. And this is malfeasance as well. Keep watching. Jack. Top four throwable fire extinguisher registration. This rope. No, no. You got ID on. You see that little green tab on top? Oh, Push yeah. it down. Wait, you want me to spray it? No, it won't, it won't spray. This <laughs> is make sure you leave the pin in. Okay. Who's alcohol? Mine. Who's? Mine. Mine and his. Y'all of age? Yeah. Yes, sir. Birthday? Sure. Nobody else drinking alcohol? No, no sir. sir. I don't even think we opened any of it yet. Wow. What's it? Pop the cooler for me. Yeah, it's them like little margarita things. Y'all gonna drink all of those? I was gonna drink every single one, but <laughs> I didn't fall off the tater wagon yesterday. Y'all. <laughs> no, I I picked them up at the liquor store yesterday for us. Yeah. Okay. If you're not of age, do not drink. Yes, sir. Sorry. Right. We will be out here all night. Uh, Give me his IDs, because we do have a problem with both y'all. Cannot be spraying each other with this. You can't be spraying them with this. That's Wait, fine. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's like no, 50 that's foot. That's not fun. That's called reckless operation. Rain water? Yes. Can you put your wallet in here? Do you have motor edge case? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you got it. Oh, you got it? Alright, this is what's going to happen. You two are going to get some citations. 
the rest of the operation can never see. You cannot spray each other. We've worked numerous accidents with people spraying each other. Is it like penetrate your skin? No, you lose your vision. I could see y'all spraying all the way back there. No way and all the way back there. No way and all the way back there. No way. All right, hang tight. You're going to get side paper. That's my little fan boat up there, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Well, it's got a little yellow fan on the back. We took it here to try it out. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. This is like my literally, I moved here a year ago, so this is my first time ever being out here. So, this is exactly what happened when I took my truck to Florida into the ocean. Oh, gosh. I got a ticket. <laughs> this is literally my first time using this. <laughs> You don't want to ruin people's day. You want them to be out here having a good time. Sometimes they don't leave you any other choice. Well, to be fair, I did not know that you couldn't splash anyone. So I'm going to give him both tickets for spraying because I didn't know and he did. <laughs> That's why you never take the motor safety course because if you know, then you're in trouble. Because I didn't know. Is that ignorance of the I, I didn't even know the course existed, or I would have though. I took a gun course to hunt. We're giving you a big break. Okay. You are getting charged with wreck operation, and then no butter at You gotta have butter at Anybody born after January one? Anybody born after January one? January 1st, 1989. And could give him a ticket for having no uh, broken. All right, on your copy. It is mandatory court appearance. you got to be at court in Smithville, Tennessee. June the 1st. Court starts at 9. Pretty sure you're there June 1st at 9 o'clock, okay? All right. All right. Do you have to be there too, Pat? Yep, I'll be there. You're being charged with the same wreck operation. You've got your motor raising. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I did not mean to splash you earlier. It's okay, Cody. Can you get him on camera? I want to apologize. It's okay. I accept your apology. Dude, I did not even know that that was like illegal. I bet there's at least a hundred people a year that die from splashing. Well, Ryan just told us that he. I could see hitting people, running over them like we were doing last week, but splashing someone. Can I have? Give me a, a beer. <laughs> Then, court on the 9th. Are you allowed to bring a camera to court? I just really want to hear, like, everyone else's... I mean, we can come support you. Can you? I don't think you bring gas. Unless it's, like, a public... Wait, do we have to, Can we be on the jury? Can you bring... There's not going to be a jury for splashing. Maybe. Is there an executioner? If it's that big of a deal, I bet that's third-degree splash. Because the way we hit him, the way I came up on him like that, I was showing unnecessary aggression. All right, folks, this brings me to one of the most important parts of the video. You guys got to watch what you guys are saying out there, okay? Now, Whistling Diesel is a hilarious dude. I would not want him to change anything from that video because every time he said something, hilarity ensues. But the only thing that I would have him change is not say things like what he just said. Because the way we hit him, the way I came up on him like that, I was showing unnecessary aggression. Cops don't seem to have a sense of humor when it comes to stuff like this. The only time cops have a sense of humor is when they're patting each other on the butt in the locker rooms. But out there on the streets, folks, they will use this to try to convict you. They know you're joking around, but they don't care. They're going to use every single thing that they can to try to get you convicted, folks. Why? Because their obligation is to the state. Their obligation is to take as much money away from you and give it to the state. They don't care if they lock you up. They don't care if you lose your job. They don't care if your dog goes hungry. They don't care if you lose your wife. They don't care if you lose your house. None of that, folks. As a matter of fact, that makes them feel real good inside. And don't forget that they're living inside their houses with the money that you pay out of your paycheck with your hard-earned dollars. You feed these cops, especially the fat ones. Keep watching, folks. 
That's probably a third degree man splash. <laughs> so, so to get this right, the suspect was seen splashing the other suspect. You observed the suspect being wet. Oh, look at me. Are uh, you overwhelmed? I think we need to take him to the hospital. Say what he right. said. I will see you all in court for third degree splash. Now me, I don't go to college. I never went to college. And that's why my duty here is to stick out for people who are actually trying in society. I'm really curious to see what the general- So we made this fan boat. We're making a video about it. And we take it out on Center Hill Lake in Smithfield, Tennessee. Now this is my second time ever being on this lake. And I've only lived here one year. Um, and my friends bring a boat and some jet skis so that we can have fun afterwards. So we're making this video and the- boat is being towed by a jet ski back to shore and we're you know we're circling around making some loops nothing nothing illegal or anything and the boat kind of capsizes and needlessly like to say gets underwater so the boat is technically sinking but you know we're not too worried because it's staying above water because it's behind the jet ski so we're pulling this boat in and as we're pulling the boat in there's a guy on a pontoon with some friends an older man yellow shirt guy the off-duty police officer that was yelling at us that day. So he sees us coming in and we're not even at the no wake zone yet. And he's yelling at us, no wake, no wake. So we slow down. You can see visibly in the video, if you go back and watch it, where we said, or where we slowed down. Um, and then, you know, of course the boat is sinking. So we had to speed back up just enough to get that boat back up above water. So we're pulling this boat in, it's kind of underwater. So, you know, it's, I. I would say it was probably making a wake. Now, was that our choice? Not really, like we had to just get the boat in. So, um, were we messing around or goofing off then? No, we're just trying to get our boat in. Um, so it, hence, when, when we get to shore and the guy's yelling at us and flipping us off with both fingers, um, I said, you know, our, our, we sink our boat. Like, we're just trying to have a good day. I was like, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, but he, he stuck with it. So in that video, he claims that he's with the sheriff's department. So obviously this guy is supposedly a police officer, which he found out he was later or still is. I don't know. Um, so he yells at us. We have an interchange and it's, it's all recorded. It's on camera. A lot of people think or had the assumption from some Facebook videos that were, you know, re-uploaded that we were instigating this guy. So just to be clear, the charges that I'm facing are not from making any wake in a no wake zone or harassing someone or nothing was related to that, that chain of events. So nothing was in the no wake zone. A lot of older people on Facebook were thinking that we were in the no wake zone making waves and goofing off and, and oh, they're like, yeah, you deserve it. He thinks he's above the law because he can make waves in a no wake zone. That's not the case because that's not what was happening. So we were just getting our boat back. We're not goofing off or anything. It's all on camera. So I think the people that thought that just missed that video. So that has nothing to do with our charges. So we talked to this guy. I was very polite the whole time without backing down. I still stood my ground. Um, and they ended up leaving and we go back out on the lake. And I forgot to mention the part where he threatened to call the uh, TWRA, which is basically Tennessee's DNR. All right, folks, here's something to think about. It's not your job to prove your innocence. It's their job to prove your guilt. First of all, there is no victim. Secondly, unless the off-duty deputy can prove you committed a crime and the prosecution can bring forth the burden of proof, the case will most likely be dismissed. And the fact that the off-duty deputy threatened to call the TWRA, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and is on camera should also be taken into consideration by the DA. How does this make the city officials look in the eyes of the people? This looks like a good old boy system that preys on the people and protects itself from transparency and accountability. And I'd like to add that I'm extremely happy and proud of Whistling Diesel for not taking the deal, or should I say bribe. So we go back out on the lake and this part is not on camera. That's why this is, a lot of people are thinking that I'm like trying to fabricate a story or I'm the one that edits the video, so I left a lot out. The truth is there's nothing to even put on camera. I didn't have that on camera because we were just having fun. So um, we had a couple jet skis and a boat and a wakeboard, you know, we're just wakeboarding and we're jet skiing out, out there. Um, now this is where, it gets 
sketchy because I don't know. I don't know what the proper term is because after about 40 minutes, the, uh, I think it was like 40, 45 minutes, the TWRA officers pull up and from where they pulled up now, I'm, I'm just going to make this one long video since people are saying I'm trying to cut out and fabricate my story. That's not the case. Um, so you can look at the other videos or after the court, you can see the map where the TWRA officers were at. But where they were at and where they said they were at, and I verified by seeing where they came from, was over a half a mile away. So we're out there, we're playing with jet skis, you know, and I don't know what you classify as reckless operation. And this is exactly what I would say in court. Um, a lot of lawyers will, will say, you know, don't say anything before your trial. The truth is I have nothing to hide. I'm literally, this is exactly how it is and that's how I'm gonna put it. So we're out here playing around on the jet skis you know, we're, we're doing this. Now, the, de the definition of the reckless operation that this, this officer is referring to is carrying speed toward, or a high rate of speed towards another individual and turning at the last second. So basically, um, it'd be like if you're in a car, like almost T-boning them and then drifting around or whatever. Um, you know, spraying some of the gravel. I don't know. So that's not what we're doing at all. Um, of course he sees, you know, he probably sees water going everywhere. Um, and the definition of the, the crime that we committed, reckless operation allegedly committed is turning at the last second and almost hitting someone. That's not at all what happened. Um, you're allowed, you're fully allowed to turn on a jet ski and, uh, op operate it to the, the normal capacity that it's designed for. Um, Nothing about what we were doing was unsafe. It was two of us were the only ones out there, first of all. Um, just just both of us, like, mutually having fun. So there was nothing that was like, oh, my God, he's, like, I can't see. He's, like, um, it was very straight straightforward just having fun on jet skis. There was no, nothing reckless about it. Now, the problem is that none of that was on camera, so I can't prove it. I guess I just you just have to take someone's word for it. Um, but the thing is, I don't know how you prove that in court that we were doing that. We did search on YouTube for an update and we found one on Renegade Racing's channel. So first of all, the case is still ongoing. He did have court on the 22nd. The DA has not dropped the charges. His next court date is going to be December 13th in DeKalb County. And the DA has offered him another deal. They offered to drop the charges on John if Wislin Diesel takes the plea. Standing up and not backing down is something Wislin Diesel is proud of. And I gotta tell you folks, that's exactly what we were hoping for when looking for the update. This guy is a straight fighter. I'm gonna show you guys clips of the update. I'll also drop that channel's link in the description as well. All right, folks, here we go. All right, this is court appearance number three, two or three. Uh, it's been four and a half to six months, I forget, since we originally had this happen. This is for um, the jet ski incident. So if you are not aware of that, go watch the other 27 videos on this. Um, John here is also, you haven't been on camera yet for this, I don't think. Um, so he's the other one being accused of breaking the law. So technically, we could both go to jail for this, but let me run you down on what happened. So we came here at 9 a.m and basically we go in there and they said there's too many people so they said go hang out for a couple hours there's like 200 people in there there's guys in handcuffs and orange suits so we had breakfast um and then the chief of police comes out and he's like i got some I, someone i want you to meet and i was like oh your son or something he's like no the mayor so we had breakfast with the mayor i guess he's been watching my videos uh so that was cool but then we came back and got an update so the DA uh, basically is in charge of d dismissing cases that are they want to keep or like they decide what they want to fight. And I guess they thought this was worth their time because we're coming back again. Um, basically, I, I'm not too versed in it. There's a preliminary hearing which determines, I guess the judge determines whether they want to throw it out or fight it. If, if I'm saying something wrong here, I apologize. I'm trying to get it as right as possible. It's going to go to a jury likely. So that's 12 people deciding whether or not we are gonna be under probation or go to jail for um, alleged splashing with jet skis. So they're trying to charge us with a reckless operation, which they are claiming is a class A misdemeanor. So, which is more than reckless driving, DUI, assault, aggravated assault on a police officer, battery. Um, 
so yeah, I guess it's going to go to a jury, and we're going to be back December 13th. December 13th, which will be, I don't know, nine months or something <laughs> since uh, we, we had fun that day out on the lake. So I will see you all December 13th. We're gonna we're going through the seasons here. We're gonna have gray hair when this is done. Uh, we're like like the, the the courthouse is gonna go through a remodel. There's gonna, there's already been one other election since the last time this happened. And this is a, ima imagine if if this was like fourth de fourth degree splashing or murder. Yeah. I dude I could not imagine. So um we're ten thousand dollars into this now. Um John has a lawyer and I have a lawyer as well. Thankfully, they know what they're doing, though, so, yeah, um, fired. let's see. You know when your lawyer is, like, you hear a lot of times lawyers are, like, uh, don't say anything about this until it's done? They, they keep telling me that, but I, I don't really care, so we're just going to talk about it. Um, basically, here, John, come over here. You ride with me on camera? Okay. Okay. Dude, it's not the end of your life. So... Um, they want it to look like that though. They want us to be miserable. That's the idea behind it. They're like, maybe if we make their life miserable, they'll give up. So, what they're trying to do is they, they offered, they gave us another deal. They offered to drop John's charges. He goes free and in exchange, I get 12 months probation if I admit to it. If, if I admitted to something I didn't do or claimed that I was recklessly operating. So, um, I said, no, I'm, I'm bringing you down with me. So John is coming down with me and, um, we're going to, we're going to take everyone down with us. That's no, no, that's you actually, you no, 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 they didn't, they wouldn't let him go. They were still going to, the trial will continue for six months and then randomly disappear for him. So we'd still have to go th through this for six months. And then I would have to, I would have to basically agree that the charges were correct for what we were doing. But there's both of us involved, and it was the same day. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. So, we, we talked about the same thing with Street Speed 717. Basically, he had this happen, not, not with Jeski. He had something happen where the government threatened to involve all of his friends, or everyone that they thought was there when he drove through the creek and destroyed the environment. Um, basically, he agreed to it, took all the charges, and then the government forgot about it. He paid the fine, he paid $50,000. So what's gonna happen the next time that someone innocent who doesn't have $50,000 breaks this law that no one knows about and drives through a creek? They're gonna get in a lot of trouble, it's gonna ruin their life. So this has been the third time that we've came here. It's an hour from home. It's on a weekday and it's at 9 a.m. So the rest of our day is trash. Everyone else's day is trash that's involved in it. It's wasted our time, our money. Um, he has other stuff going on. I have other stuff going on. Not really. I, I'm enjoying this. But he has other stuff going on. And it's wasting everyone's time and money. So this could really ruin someone's life if it keeps happening. So by standing up to stuff like this and not backing down, I hope that uh, it sends a statement to other people. It helps persuade other people to kind of fight stuff that's unfair. Um, especially if... It's an obvious, obvious, uh, especially if the decision that the government is making against you is unfair. So, um, I guess we're going to be back with a jury and the public themselves is going to get to decide if we go to jail for riding jet skis. Um, All right, John, I'll see you in Beijing. See you in Beijing. Six months. Six, yeah, six we'll months. We'll be back. Cut. All right, folks, I know this was a long video, but we're going to try to keep you updated with what's going on. We've actually been working on this video for over a month. We've been waiting for updates. I was actually going to try to fly out to Tennessee to try to support him at this last court date. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it out in December, but I'll definitely try. I do want to commend him for standing up and not bowing down and taking the plea bargain. And just like we said earlier in the video, we definitely think that this is an abuse of power. There's no reason why these guys should have been ticketed. I do believe that there should be a FOIA request or a records request for the phone calls that were made to the departments that day. 
And a quick message to Whistling Diesel before I go. Keep fighting it, man. I do believe they'll drop this at the end of the day. A lot of times these courthouses, they don't want to drop the charges immediately because they know for a fact that you'll file a lawsuit, so they try to stretch it out as long as possible. Also keep in mind that there is no victim here. The officer needs to provide a burden of proof. Without a burden of proof, like I said, I believe they have to drop the case. So keep fighting it. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this case, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit the bell. I want to give a huge shout out to Renegade Racing for being out there and supporting Whistling Diesel and giving us, the people, an update. Alright folks, before I let you go, I'm going to teach you the First Amendment of the Constitution because that's what we do here. You have the freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to assemble, and freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievances. We need to truly memorize that, folks. So important the Second Amendment was written to protect it. The First Amendment of the Constitution mirrors your natural rights, the rights that you were born with. Thank you all for tuning in. We will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day.